Brenda has an appointment. Oh, yeah. She's going to be at folks. But you took the majority uh, of the time. Right. <laughs> I have nothing but the highest respect for teachers. I live with a teacher. Uh, my wife has taught school uh, for nearly 30 years. I have uh, a dear sister that uh, just retired a couple of years ago from teaching, uh, from the teaching profession. I have a number of nieces and nephews that are school teachers. Nothing that I have heard on the Senate side, and I can only speak for what goes on in, in the Indiana Senate, have there been any words of disrespect spoken by senators about teachers and the teaching profession in the state of Indiana. That is the honest truth. Well, you, can, you can say that if you want, but I'm there and I hear it, and I have a vested interest in respecting teachers and doing everything we can to benefit teachers and to get them the best education we possibly can. Our kids went to public school, and I am a firm believer in public education here in the state of Indiana. But we need to do the very best we can, the most excellent job we can, because the status quo isn't good enough anymore in the world economy uh, that we all work in, and that we're putting our kids into that situation to compete with folks globally. And we have got to find every answer we can to do the best we can. You folks that are here today are probably the cream of the crop because you took the time to show up on Saturday when you're not being paid to be here. But let me tell you, these folks standing in front of you, these folks standing in front of you are not being paid to be here today either. Uh, this is on their own. This is on their own time. This is on their own mileage. Thank you all for being here today, and I think we owe Dr. Bennett and Chairman Bainey. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come here. I just want to close by saying uh, just a couple things. Again, I appreciate uh, Mr. Harshman in opening up the facility. I understand we did not get to all the questions, okay? I promise you at the onset, those are going back to Indianapolis. Those will go to Dr. Bennett. Those will be answered. We will get those dispersed through the superintendent any means that we can. The other thing is, I want to understand from a, a logistical standpoint, I asked Mr. Harson, can we tie up your building and maybe some of your people for about two hours? So I'm trying to be respectful to that as well, okay? Lastly, what I want you to know in the spirit of cooperation, the three of us agreed that we were going to now go sit down and meet with the superintendent to, to continue the dialogue and to talk about education and the many the concerns are there. So thank you for thank you all. Uh, Kevin, if I may, if you want to write down this email address as well. Now this is a this is a direct email. It's not like that one that has superintendent at DOE. It's T Bennett, T B E N N E T T at DOE dot I N dot G O V. Okay, again, T. Bennett at doe.in.gov. Um, so if you have a question we did not get to, do not hesitate to email us. Thanks.